Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Headline Amp Fungicide and Pride Seeds. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Corn School. You know, protecting plants from disease throughout the season can be a challenge. Earlier in the season, I had a chance to catch up with Omafra plant pathologist Albert Tenuta and University of Guelph professor Dr. Dave Hooker. They had some great tips on how to select a fungicide and how to stage the crop for optimum disease control. Hey, Albert Tenuta with Omafra here out of Ridgetown with my great friend, Dr. Dave Hooker. Oh, he's just, I don't even know how to present him. He's oh, just con fabulous, man. Control yourself. He's just fabulous. Hey, we get a lot of questions, and we're getting a lot of questions again this year, especially, you know, hey, sometimes when corn prices go up, certain questions pop up. Fungicides, timing, grow staging. Dave, we got two different hybrids here, right? Even a pathologist can tell that they're different stages. Yeah, what do we got, man? Yeah, different stages. And Albert, this is such a great opportunity here for scouting, for management. So important, so many important things that we need to consider yeah. at this time. And so therefore, we need to make sure that the field is at a certain stage before we even apply a specific, man specific management. So that could be fungicide. That could be an insecticide Absolutely. for controlling western bean cutworm. Yep. There's so many things that's going around, going on in the field at this time, and we need to apply that management at a very specific stage. Yeah, so these hybrids were planted the same day, but they're different. Yep, they're different. And so the hybrid that on your right there, that is probably around 100 heat units less than uh, to mature than this hybrid. And that hybrid is silking uh, before this, this hybrid is. But it's important to scout your field, even though that it's, you know, not quite tasseling yet or not quite soaking yet, just to give you an idea on when you should be out in the field to do those very important management practices. Yeah. So in this one, for instance, it's just right before the VT stage. And the VT stage is when 75% of the plants, the tassel, the last part of the tassel clears the flag leaf, the ligule of the flag leaf. And we, we consider uh, that the VT. But the corn that you're standing next to, it is silking already. So as soon as the corn begins to silk, again, 75% of the plants have silks, you know, two to three centimeters long or so. That's when we would say that plant, that cor corn yeah. crop is at R1. And we forget about the VT, it's at R1 at that stage. So this hybrid, for instance, when we were looking at it to this is our, our, one of our fungicide trial locations here. You know, the silks were pretty well at the same time as tasseling, if not a little early. What, what, yeah. What's going on well, there? Well, the plant breeders have done an excellent job on syncing that pollen release to when they can be accepted by the silk. The plant breeders have done a wonderful job. In fact, sometimes the silks appear before the tassel. Yeah. So this is why, this is why we need to scout when the crop doesn't even doesn't look like it's in VT yet, but we need to know when those silks will emerge because that is the best time. That is the opportunity to spray a fungicide or control western bean cutworm. Yeah. The plant breeders have done a wonderful job on sinking that pollen release to being accepted by the silks, but sometimes the silks come out before the tassel does. Yeah. And so that really moves up, could move up your management opportunity there to spray your corn. Yeah, and that, that staging is critical to your fungicide choices too, right? And, and the purpose of it, right? So if you're targeting yeah. those ear molds, ear rots, gibberella ear rot, dawn and that, you're gonna be targeting the silks, our fungicide choices. There's some great products there. Less though than if you're just targeting, not just, but you know what I mean, nor, the northern corn leaf blights, the tar spots, some of the foliar leaf diseases where you're going from VT2 even to this point, right? You yeah, can get, yeah. you know, just because you're targeting uh, silk or dawn or gibberella, that also doesn't mean you're missing those foliar leaf diseases. You can get everything in one shot here, right? Yep, that's right. And especially if that fungicide is, um, is effective on reducing gibberella ear rot and dawn. Not all fungicides are, right? Right, but, but the good news is that most of the ones that we have for jib and um, and dawn reduction are also really good on northern corn leaf blight and the foliar relief diseases. So you can get two birds with one, one pack. That's right, exactly. Yep. Excellent. So 
when it comes down, final take homes here is that we got to know our timing. We got to get out there and scout. If you go too late, these silks may be brown. What are we doing there? Yeah, if the, if the silks are brown, it's too late. If this, all the silks are brown, that's probably about a day or two late to spray. And if you do spray, it will probably control leaf diseases if they haven't, um, if the leaf disease severity isn't high already, of yep. course. Fungicides don't, aren't that effective on controlling leaf disease after it happens. But it would be too late for any expectations for gibberella ear rot reduction or dawn reduction if the silks are browns. Albert, we have about a week window there between the, when the silks appear to when they brown off. And I think a lot can be done within that week. Yeah, and so again, it comes down to, uh, you know, target those fields that have had problems in the past. You know, maybe you're corn on corn, a highly higher susceptible ear rot or, or a uh, foliar leaf disease uh, hybrid. Yeah. All of those things got to, and tillage, you know, all that tillage. residue that you promote uh, on there is a godsend for us pathologists to keep us in business till we retire in that. Yeah, right, bud? You always give me a hard time about that. Yeah, but anyway, so remember, timing is important to get your best bang for your buck.